So this is a pallet, little picket fence done, there's my sort of porch there. But quite a few of you people in both channels, TA Fish and TA Outdoors, asked us how many pallets did you use to make this pallet cabin? It's a one man off grid pallet cabin, it's for one person, you've seen all the inside before guys. Outside all I can say is what you do is just, if you've got the pallet, don't strip all the nails out the inside along those edges, just cut just inside them with a saw and you only have to generally take the nails out of the middle and that gives me sections of this. I'm going to give you measurements so you've got an idea. So look, this is all with one line of nails just down here, this particular edge of this pallet. So I've made one panel, I'll make it out of sections, and that is 30 inches and the next one should be 30 inches. So I've got three there. 30 inch, gives me 90 inches, three 30 inch panels I'll show you here. See, look, there's the join down there. And I do that sort of ship lap so that the rain comes down, runs over here, runs over here, runs over here. And this is like, it's not rot, it will rot out one day. Three years, we've had it three years, but the reason that it doesn't rot out is you keep it off the ground. People say, you haven't got it off the ground. Yes, yes, we have. Let me show you. If you look down here, we've got it mounted on a base, again of heavy pallet wood, and there, are the blocks that we got it on. You can see it's on blocks here. So you make that cabin whatever size you want, but I've made three 30 inch panels. Overall, really, it, it, it's like seven feet, it's about seven foot six, so seven foot six long, and I work that out because so the average guy is six foot, and I wanted to be able to sleep in there. Fine, that's okay, come around the front. So here's the door, again, I've made this, out of whatever section I want to give me a cleanest piece of wood I can. There's no specific, it's down to what pallets you can get. So this one there is 19 inches. That's a funny one. This one here, measure that one, 19 inches. And the door I've made 22 inches. So you can make it whatever width you want. So the overall width of this is just over five feet so seven foot six by five feet if you look on the ta outdoors build there's a complete section on building it again that's all done on the base here at the front i didn't want to step straight from the mud into there i wanted it in the porch area this one is made out of heavier pallet wood which you can get generally if you go around industrial estates or find an engineering company because they are shipping in metal and stuff like that so i made this as much as you want, you can do it as and when you want. It's about three feet six, a little bit more. Obviously over the width of the cabin, you can do it what you want. Look, that's six feet six, so three feet six by about six feet six. And I put it on the sections that the pallet, the heavy pallets come, so they're almost four by two inch, four inch by two inch, roughly, roughly. Don't know what that is in millimeters, somebody work it out for me. But also got extra bonuses in we made a log store over here again I made a thin pallet wood and I've made it look you make it whatever size you want we've got shavings over there to keep dry and our wood can stay dry we can cut it smaller split it if we want it so we can use it on the outside fire or in fact inside we've actually got a G stove so it keeps your wood dry if anybody wants to know the measurements that one is about three feet deep by six foot six long you don't need it that big 
possibly a shorter one would have done us. We've driven stakes in there and put a little support around. So that at least we've got dry wood in here and the kindling for the stove or the outside fire to keep inside, around the back. We've got a, sh a shock of a day today. Mike's over there on one of the other uh, builds. So here, you've got a piece of glass because you do want light in there. But again, same size panel, look. A 30 inch standard width panel. The height at the bottom sort of of the eaves is five feet so my sides are five feet but you obviously want your centre apex like this I'll give you the peak of the apex the peak of the apex all approximate guys probably close to six feet six feet two so plenty of height when you get in the centre of it when you go inside Plenty of height to stand up in there, as you can see, look. Duck your head when you go in. Height of the doorway, listen, it's up to you, but you can only go to the height here that you want the support beam across the top there. So the actual doorway, so people know, is about 5'3", something like that. So you have to duck under to go in there. Bonus items you can make out of pallet wood. There's loads, I've done loads and loads of films on pallet wood around the back. So at some stage you're going to want to be doing work or occasionally repairs. I've also put guttering around here full of leaves and that's to keep the uh, water off the main of the roof which is metal. So around the back what we've done here, oh yeah, we put up here, get the leaves off, a little porch overhang roof or mounted on bracket, brackets. I put saw cuts in there, bend the brackets down Otherwise you can't bend a right angle bracket down because the knuckle is too tight, that's a, as a support point. So I've got that there to bend an angle on it so any water runs, drips off as it hasn't. It's just done that in my face. And then this is my workbench. So I've made a nice work table here which obviously stays dry under there. And underneath here we can put a log store as well. Out of pallet wood again has made the world famous pallet wheelbarrow from bits of pipe and that's up on the site as well so if you want to know how to make a wood wheelbarrow and that I can ferry logs around there soil anything like that we keep a tarp heap here if we do have to cover any logs over and then always keep up some split kindling wood which as you can see I can I can get right under that table I can get right under the table there so it's dry from this it's also dry from the work table so they're all ideas for you. It's just amazing what you can make out of pallet wood. And most of these I did in my garage. Now I will show you a bit on the back. Let me show you a bit here. Because there's no need for a door at the back, I've used a much bigger length of pallet wood going across there. I'm guessing it's going to be around that 30 inch again. It's exactly 30 inches, guys. There's something I've got about 30 inches in there. So there you go, 2 30s is 60, 60 inches, five feet. So that gives you a good idea so inside of there obviously we can you can cork this out with moss if you wanted or you can put wood strips down there as well and the inside has a table a bed shelving for logs a g stove it's so cozy once you get that fire going there unbelievable so people i've enjoyed doing all this i'm gonna have more fun out here as well if you want to have a go at it why don't you just have a go at it get yourself a stock of pallet wood just, ah so well made this pallet wood workbench I can sit on it get yourself out there find something to make with pallet wood I've made coffee tables chairs loads of things it's just fun in the garage do you know what it's something to do in the winter tape measure tools the world is your oyster we'll see you next time